Football feed debate is the lifeblood of football, and grounded on these topics such as Arsenal's best other players always create um, good discussion. Um, sure, um, this person is the best, um, but this person reimagined what it's like to play in this position. Nicholas Benton is a global icon, but what does he do on a wet and cold windy night on Stoke? Um, yeah, it's the debates that rumble on. Um, so we've um, decided today, and um, like we've done with previous clubs in um, um, previous weeks, um, to rank the 10 best Arsenal players ever. So let's get straight into it with number 10, Tia. Omri. It's always good to start with a keen simply put the greatest player the Premier League has ever seen a prolific goal scorer with lightning pace, outrageous flair and brilliant interplay 228 goals, 90 assists a goal by designing football player after them what the North Bank witnessed. Arsenal fans would probably say that Omri um, was um, the finished article and yet it's hard to argue to be honest but moving on into number 9 that's Dennis Bergkamp. A pony mouth level for footballing intelligent was a touch to make Berbatov weak. Um, Bergkamp uh, revolutionised the Premier League along with Cantona, uh, Junior and first brigade of quality foreign players he um, brought a level of technical ability and professionalism country has not seen he was a perfectionist preparing Arsenal to the Premier League title and won uh, the Players of the Year award um, throughout his career um, an invincible and just touch you outside the ground what more could you want number eight is um, Liam Brady a player that could have played in any era he dribbled the football like a Salomon Olympic era and was possibly the man um, for whom a wand of a left peg was coined a perfect technique that led to many brilliant strikes such as Peach against Spurs and one gets played every home, every home game his only trophy was the 1979 FA Cup um, against Manchester United but his seven year, years in infamous red were alongside ever iconic name such as his talent he left in the 1980s and took the famous Juve shirt um, and, which was number 10 in an era where foreign players in Syria didn't exist and he won Syria um, two times in two years Number seven, Tony Adams. During his 669 appearances for the club, Arsenal established himself as the greatest leader the Gunners have ever had. His back four of the 90s were so exceptional that um, they have become a British institution in themselves. Not only a club captain, but a captain of England too. He became the torchbearer of the heart, um, ripping off um, Butcher's bloody headband and using it on his own armband. His something finish against Everton, um, played through by Steve Ward of all people, is a moment Arsenal fans won't forget. He really is um, Mr Arsenal. Number six, Patrick Vieira, Wenger's first signing, a free million um, French midfielder from AC Milan. He was a bridge between the old and new Arsenal, ferocious in the tackle and but a two-footed technical beast. If Omri and Bergkamp were too godly to comprehend, Vieira was more than meter and two veg, uh, or truffle and cavar, as you will. Uh, he added a rudimental and necessary element to the side, but one of the highest order. Don't listen to me, listen to Roy King. He said, without doubt, I put him alongside Zerzan, and Skulls, Gerard Lampard as one of the very best I've ever played with or against. He was that um, damn good. Moving on into number five and that is um, Robert Perez. Perez um, was so much more than a pencil goatee. His var var um created the most terrifying left flank in the history of English football. With a rampaging Ashley Cole constantly overlapping and drifting to Ari Omri, their interplay was frightening. The 2001-2 season was his peak, winning the FA WA Player of the Year while suffering a season-ending injury in the match. Um, his standout moment was against Villa uh, with a breathtaking lob. Um, chasing a long ball from Lundberg, he knocked past um, um, the defender with the outside of the boot. As the ball is still bouncing, he executes a perfectly judged volley to lob it over Smichael. Just watch it. Number four is Ian Wright. Uh, Ian Wright joined Arsenal at 28. Let that sink in. 28. In just seven years, he became Arsenal's all-time record goal scorer. 185 goals and 288 appearances. Boasting cat-like movement and a telepathic understanding of where the goal was. Wright was and um, brought uh, goal scoring to a whole new meaning in North London. Imagine if he joined the club at 21 and how many he'd got. His charismatic smile, likeable personality and passion for the club made him um, someone who Arsenal fans um, have treasured for a long while. Moving on then to number three, and that is Charlie George. A local London Arsenal fan, he became an Arsenal great with his exploits during the double winning 70 71 season. Back when the FA Cup was watched by the nation, he had an iconic moment in the final. During 1 1 and extra time, George received the ball uh, from um, Radford and smashed it in 20 yard. While the goal, um, was spectacular. It was a celebration that made it seminal. George lying flat on his back with his arms aloft. Um, Charlie George is so Arsenal through and through. He currently hosts stadium tours um, of the Emirates. Moving on then to number two then, um, and that is Cliff Baston. Cliff Baston um, was the original prolific goal scorer, a crucial cog in the Arsenal side that dominated uh, in the 1930s. Herbert Chapman's Arsenal won five league titles and two FA Cups during an unprecedented spell of ball and Baston was a prodigy. By 19, he won the league titles for FA Cup and been cut for England, making him the youngest to achieve three. He notched 178 goals for Arsenal, a record that would stand for six years. The second one will contail his career as he was conscripted at 27 and sadly uh, suffered 
leg injuries uh, in battle. Moving on into number one, that's Alex James. If Glass Dustin was a pre war in him, right? Alex James was a pre war Dennis uh, Bergkamp, another crucial member of Chapman's team. James Bird lies between the attacking and defence, trash listening the ball to lethal Baston, uh, Ted Drake, and David Jake. Um, the Scott was an assist machine and was vital in the world record setting um, season of 1933 with the Gunners. Um, Managed 118 league goals. Um, yeah, just let that sink in. 118 league goals. That is quite incredible. Um, but anyway, guys, that's it for you. Thanks very much for watching. To like, share, subscribe. Yes, that's quite something. If you want to for daily football reasons, Scottish channel is going to be greatly appreciated. Thanks very much for watching. Peace out.